Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash video. So today I'm going to be using the Mass Dragon strategy up in Champion 1. I haven't really used it since like 2013, back when it was the most OP strategy in the game. So I'm going to try it again today. I'm actually going to be using three rage spells as well as two free spells and I see some people using three lightning spells. I don't know which one is stronger, I didn't bother to ask anyone so I'm just going to try three rage and two freeze. Let's try it out against a couple of bases and a see if we can try to get one or two stars against a couple of these guys. So starting off, I brought four balloons. I learned that from someone at Finish Clash, you drop the four balloons first, and that's gonna take out uh, any of the air mines, or I guess the, yeah, the seeking air mines that could take out one of your dragons. I think I might've gotten one with the four balloons up front, uh, but as you can see, my dragons are running in the base, dropping my second free spell now, and it looks like a good portion of them are in the center. The one thing is, is that that, seeking, or that uh, air sweeper is gonna do a lot of work against those dragons. A lot of them were going for the town hall, but then they got pushed over to the side so instead i'm going to drop my king and queen to wrap this raid up as well as i have a couple of wall breakers and archers just in case i need to get extra percentage points against the base so wall breakers are going down now those guys are going to follow up the king and the queen break through to the center and honestly i didn't even need the wall breakers because my king or my queen should have sh or could have shot over the top but still that's going to be the second star right there and that will be the town hall and i guess i'll let my king and queen run around just a little bit longer and try to get as many percentage points as they can against the base i've sort of been in this habit especially since um nordic clash where the tiebreaker was based upon damage per or damage percentage done against bases to where i've been leaving my king and queen to attack longer uh, which obviously isn't the best thing to do since i have to either wait for them to spawn or spend gems for them uh, to wake back up so pretty interesting uh, i've been doing it on my clan where it's too but anyways let's attack this next base here and at looking at this guy's air defense they aren't completely maxed out on the bottom so i'm gonna attack from there as well as i'm just gonna start dropping all my dragons through right now so a couple of air bombs, not really too much for dragons. I'm trying to get the seeking air mines. I dropped my first free spell, but I missed the air defense because I'm sort of used to go wipe. I froze the Inferno Tower in the expo, where when you're using dragons, obviously you want to freeze the air defense. So a first mistake was right there. I did freeze the second or I guess the next expo in Inferno Tower right there. We took out the Town Hall, but we're only at 33%, so we're gonna need to use the King and Queen to clean up some of the rest of the buildings, and I try to get to 50% against this base. So Rage Spell went down on those dragons. Could have been better served on my King and Queen. I'm not sure what, it would, what, what would have been better in that situation, but still, Dragon's gonna attack from the left-hand side, and I'm gonna follow up with my King and Queen as well. So they're dropping down right now. I saw plenty of buildings over here. Usually I might separate my king and queen um, to make sure I get the 50%, but honestly, it wasn't a big deal here. I actually dropped some wall breakers up top to get that builder's hut. And uh, now we're at 48%, so just a couple more buildings to get to 50, and that will wrap it up for a two-star against this guy's base. So pretty nice stuff. We were able to get the town hall with the dragons, which is definitely preferred. You'd rather get the town hall and only do like 32% damage than get to 50%, but not have the town hall down, because usually it can be tough to get your king and queen to go to the center to take out the town hall. Uh, but for this one, it worked out really well, especially against a southern teaser base like this. It really wasn't too difficult um, to get that town hall and that's what let us get 67% against this base. So nice stuff, a whole one trophy gain for those two stars right there, but still not gonna complain about it. And uh, let's go ahead and try out one more raid against this guy's base right here. So another Southern teaser style base. And one thing I noticed is that all of his air defense, while they are maxed out, they are uh, sort of, above the town hall like two of them are parallel with the town hall and the other two are above the town hall so i knew that especially in the very beginning i'm not gonna have to worry about those guys at all so i dropped two dragons on the left two dragons on the right which forced the rest of my dragons in the center and uh, let's see if they can make their way there before spreading apart and i'm uh, messing with a bunch of different stuff all right, so they were on a pretty good path, but that air sweeper on the left-hand side pushed all of my dragons off to the left when most of them were heading towards the center. So that means only two dragons are left right now. And I dropped a free spell, probably should have saved that for my king and my queen, seeing as my dragons only had like 10% HP left each. Uh, the dragons were able to take care of the expo, which could help out a little bit, but still we're at 36%. We don't have the town hall, even though we have a couple of dragons on the left-hand side. So I think we should be good for 50%, especially if we only have um, 
if we have a dragon on the left and we have our king and queen left with only 10% remaining. So I'm just going to go for the town hall. Worst case scenario, we should get to 50. But seeing as we've destroyed most of the buildings in the center and I still have this poison spell right here for any skeleton traps, I think we should be good to go. And I'm going to pop my king's ability right now. So no single target Inferno Tower, which is pretty nice. 47%, 49% right there. And finally, we just have the queen left. I'm going to pop her ability before the skeleton traps can get to her. And that's going to be 50%. And I'm going to go ahead and end my battle right there so a massive two trophy offer for that raid but still we were able to get a couple of two stars today using dragons um and yeah it's a pretty neat strategy some of these bases that or i guess most of these or if not all of the bases i attacked didn't have heroes so i know i've tried it before and it's fared a little bit different it can be a fun strategy against certain bases if you gonna tr if you guys want to try it out and let me know what you think just drop a comment in the comment section below as well as i might try it with lightning spells later because i've heard lightning spells can be pretty good um and yeah i'll give that a go in a bit and see how that works out compared to three rage and two freeze but anyways that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you drop a like and until next time i will see you guys later peace out